what is going on welcome back to run my crypto we're going to talk about internet computer and why you need to understand what project you're investing in because internet computer is actually changing the whole game for the entire cryptocurrency space and we're going to dive deep into what chain key cryptography really is and how internet computer is going to change the game for those using edcsa signatures on their blockchain let's get into this video this is why internet computer is probably one of the best cryptocurrencies there is Right, so before we get into like the whole internet computer thing I want you guys to understand what uh, signatures are and how they relate to cryptocurrency so originally what cryptocurrency um, had to be able to make transactions was obviously you know you go up you, you go in there you set up a wallet you got these private keys right so the seed phrases private keys these are the access to your crypto wallet to basically anything that you have that you're wanting to transact then on the flip side you have the servicers right the service providers like bitcoin ethereum internet computer so on so forth now in order to transact originally with uh your wallet to um essentially something like bitcoin or ethereum you would essentially use your your private key signature so that's allowing you're allowing to connect to the uh, public keys which is held by Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency or Ethereum as a cryptocurrency now what happens is you so you authorize that signature it goes out goes into this public key information to validate it so it's going to validate the information that you provided to it to, to provide you a service now this is like a more centralized uh, way of utilizing blockchains not only that uh, you would have to essentially uh, validate <clears throat> the entire genesis block in order to finish out that process so everything on this genesis block has to be validated so you would literally have to go through tier by tier on these blocks of trans <clears throat> of the information that needs to be transferred in order for the public keys to be validated now moving a little bit more into the future where we've come is we've came to a state of actually having decentralized uh, signatures now the decentralized signatures uh, puts in a little bit more protection when it comes to us being able to validate anything on the blockchain so <clears throat> what the more decentralized way of doing things is we have the private key which belongs to you now it goes when it goes into a transaction okay what it does is is it chops all those phrases and keys and numbers that are attached to your signature on your private keys and it splits it up into different validators before it actually transacts onto the public key so now you have a more robust safer way of doing transactions now that's how we move from centralized to decentralized now what sets internet computer apart is they're they're essentially putting into a, a new development so this new development is what's going to cause more robustness for internet computer it changes the game for internet computer and the way the signatures are used now this is more elite than anything that's out there right now and this is why internet computer was able to integrate with bitcoin and ethereum which they should be pretty much finishing up with pretty soon now let's go over what internet computer is doing to put themselves in a position to basically dominate in signature and create something that's so robust and so secure to use totally 100% on chain so let's get into that so the super unique about thing about internet computer is they started to use a new technology of signatures now this signature technology is called ECDSA now what this is is a technology that allows internet computers system their blockchain to be able to actually validate and sign off on cryptocurrencies that run with the same signatures um, utilized right so if we're looking at bitcoin they use the ecdsa uh, and so does ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies now what the ecdsa has allowed uh, internet computer to build right so what they've done is is they've allowed their blockchain system the way it's set up 
to be able to run these effectively and be able to validate these within their canister and node system. So we're going to get into how internet computer is set up, but this gets internet computer the advantage over other cryptocurrency blockchains because this now eliminates a bridge from one cryptocurrency to the next so if you're familiar with wrap tokens right so if you know anything about cryptocurrency if you want to utilize uh, ethereum on another blockchain say uh, arbitrum or uh, matic or anything like that what you have is a wrap token so you get the valuation of the ethereum right but it's not a true ethereum because what it is is a wrapped cell on ethereum so what in order to make that happen they use third party uh to be able to connect or bridge one chain to the next right so there's an issue with that though because it, it actually leaves a gap open to for malicious activity or anything once you open up your sign off on your key they bridge that key to get validated uh, they connect the two uh, blockchains together and that's where you get your wrap token so you're basically you know you you're spending um, at matic cost or whatnot to create a wrap token for ethereum so you could buy it through matic versus buying it through ethereum as a whole one for one uh, cryptocurrency so there's some stipulation within having that one ethereum because now it's pretty much in an open network where it's it's got the value of ethereum but doesn't hold a true one for one you cannot convert it through ethereum you have to convert it through matic so it kind of makes it a little confusing but internet computer has basically built a system that's going to eliminate using that third party or that bridge to be able to bring bitcoin and ethereum onto internet computers blockchain without the hassle of even having to build a bridge so Here's where we're going to get into how internet computer has the advantage and this is why it's so critical to understand and know your investment because when you know your investment you know how good you're you're basically headed for because you have the information where you know this this project that you're in is going to dominate because it has so much utility to be able to take on the whole web3 decentralized era that's what internet computer is and that's what it's giving so let's get into how internet computer is bringing over bitcoin and bringing over ethereum let's go all right so let's take a look at how internet computer <clears throat> how their blockchain is set up and that's going to give us an idea of how we're going to go ahead and incorporate everything we just talked about in the previous section of this video so let's look at internet computers uh, blockchain so first of all you have internet computer and then what they have put in place <clears throat> is called the NS NNS system now this is called the network nervous system and this basically governs pretty much the way the blockchain works <clears throat> now the way that the blockchain works is that you have um, a HTTP come through it goes through the NNS system which basically governs the entire canisters and all the information inside the canisters now what NNS does is send the information to a canister now inside the canisters is what could be pretty much anything it could be a uh, platform it could be a development it could be an NFT it could be basically anything that comes through the system now once this information goes into the system then what happens is it'll run these nodes and these nodes are running around the canister basically verifying all the information to ensure that it's true stated information and that the transactions are basically what they are that they say they are now the nodes are essentially validators that talk to each other so when the information comes in they will, these nodes will talk to each other and they will verify and validate that whatever's coming through this signal or this transaction and the information when it comes out everything lines up so it's basically a fault proof system that can verify all the information that's coming through and not only that when it goes back out to um, the sender or the receiver um, everything has been verified 100 percent and then it runs back through the NNS governance system that says okay this is good to go send it out now the other cool thing about the NNS system is that this is the system that governs the entire blockchain so in retrospect what you're gonna see is once these canisters and these nodes 
uh, become over capacity and things get a little hectic and a lot of transactions start coming through the NNS system this governance system actually says okay well let's start building to be able to handle more traffic so we need to create more space for canisters we need to create more nodes we basically scale out to handle this traffic horizontally and this is what it looks like so the NNS builds these extra sections of canisters and nodes and it be and it's able to be basically take on all this traffic and all these transactions so we're going to look at how internet computer bringing in the ecdsa system the signature system is going to change the way that everything can be validated on internet computers blockchain so let's go in and take a look so this is what's going to happen with or this is actually what was created <clears throat> with the CK BTC. Um, I'm basically going to try to give you an example of what the system is doing in order for you to understand how they're going to bring in every other cryptocurrency that uses ECDSA signatures. So what happens is, so Internet Computer has <clears throat> basically Bitcoin um, come in into a canister. Now, any transaction that's going to be um utilized with bitcoin on internet computer is going to go through the nns system it's going to come into a canister and these nodes can actually validate the signature directly on chain so now now that they brought bitcoin in through a canister on chain the nodes could actually validate the transaction that's being processed and shipped out through the nns back to the end user so that's how internet computer is basically implementing their ec dsa into the the nodes and these nodes are going to be able to validate through the system of ec dsa so everything can run 100 percent on chain and that's how they're bringing in ethereum and that's how they will eventually bring in any other cryptocurrency uh that runs on ec dsa signatures that <clears throat> basically puts them ahead of the game eliminating bridges so there's no more bridges to be had with internet computer and this is why inter internet computer is so valuable and this is why you need to understand and know your project that you're investing in because this is something that <clears throat> is going to scale long long term and benefit you the most so know your project before you get in or learn your project to the best of your ability and hopefully you got something out of this. This is what I wanted to get across to you is that they're changing the game. Internet computer is changing the game for cryptocurrency, eliminating bridges, eliminating oracles. They're eliminating, eliminating anything that comes across as something that's gonna cause any bit of allowance for you to be uh, maliciously attacked or any type of security breaches or anything to that nature. They're eliminating it 100%. It's going Web3 decentralized 100%. That's why Internet Computer is one of the best cryptocurrency projects that is out there right now. So, again, hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It means a lot. It helps me put more emphasis in my videos and be focused. So, thank you, guys. Make sure you guys hit that Patreon. Check it out. Link in the description. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Take care.